from Krakatoa, Pinatubo, and Vesuvius to the most devastating explosion ever. Here are 12 of the deadliest volcanic eruptions in history. Mount Samalas, Indonesia. The Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI, is a way of making a relative measurement of volcanic eruption. Mount Samalas, located on Lombok Island in Indonesia, had an eruption in 1257 that would have been rated a 7. That's the second highest ranking on the VEI. It's viewed as one of the largest such events in the Holocene Epoch, which is the epoch we're living in. Eruption columns of superheated ash and gas reached tens of miles into the atmosphere and fell more than 200 miles away. Rapid moving currents of volcanic rock and gas swept across the island, destroying the kingdom's capital city. The event caused anomalies in the Earth's weather, and the global atmosphere cooled. That has been linked to crop failures and famines in Europe. Most notably, the Mount Samalas eruption is thought to have caused a famine in London, which resulted in up to 20,000 deaths. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Mount Pinatubo, Philippines this formation in the Philippines was once regarded as an inconspicuous stratovolcano, which had lain dormant for five centuries. That changed in 1991 when it exploded with the second largest terrestrial eruption in the 20th century. When Typhoon Yunya arrived, it further spread a lethal mix of rain and ash across the following towns and cities. This triggered massive mudslides. Tens of millions of tons of toxic metals and minerals were ejected. That turned into a haze of sulfuric acid in the atmosphere and had consequences around the world. In the following years, global temperatures dropped noticeably and a decrease in the ozone layer accelerated. Mount Pinatubo has been mostly quiet since 1991, but the aftereffects of the eruption are still felt today. Santa Maria, Guatemala. This large active volcano is located within a range along the western edge of Guatemala, where it sits more than 12,000 feet high. Its first eruption in recorded history turned out to be a major event. Experts say that it ranks as one of the largest eruptions of the past two centuries. Starting in October 1902, the event lasted for at least two days and ejected nearly two cubic miles of magma. Pumice was spread over an area of 105,000 square miles. Volcanic ash was found more than 2,500 miles away in San Francisco. An estimated 6,000 fatalities were documented as a result of the explosion. Today, the lava dome still produces huge mud flows that have destroyed towns and infrastructure. Laki Fissure and Grimsvotten, Iceland. Laki refers to a mountain that bisects a volcanic fissure in the southeastern part of Iceland. It's a part of a volcanic system that's centered on a subglacial or ice-covered volcano called Grimsvotten. In June 1783, both Laki and Grimsvotten erupted violently over an eight-month period and produced lava flows that destroyed 20 villages. More than 42 billion tons of lava, along with poisonous acids and compounds, were released. The toxic material contaminated the soil, which killed more than half of Iceland's livestock and destroyed most of the crops. The losses resulted in a famine that killed around 25% of the country's population, more than 10,000 individuals. After effects were experienced worldwide with global temperatures dropping and droughts occurring from Europe to India. Mount Unsen, Japan. Japan's worst volcanic-related catastrophe took place in 1792 on the island Kyushu. When its lava domes collapsed, it created a mega tsunami that measured 330 feet. The explosion also triggered an earthquake which resulted in a huge landslide that swept through nearby towns before it reached the sea and created enormous waves. The tsunami and landslides combined to kill an estimated 15,000 people in all. Evidence of the disaster can still be seen today. In the early 1990s, a smaller series of eruptions occurred that claimed more than 40 lives and prompted the evacuation of 12,000 residents from their homes. Around 2,000 buildings were destroyed during that event. Since 1995, Mount Unsen has been quiet. Wainaputina, Peru Historical records indicate that this peak in southern Peru erupted in 1600 and is South America's largest volcanic eruption. Witnesses from nearby towns said that earthquakes accompanied the event, along with deafening explosions that could be heard 1,000 kilometers away. Surrounding areas were buried in layers of volcanic rock that measured more than 6.5 feet deep. A 20-square-mile area to the mountain's west 
remains blanketed today. Huayna Putina released an estimated 32 million metric tons of particulate matter into the atmosphere. That resulted in decreasing temperatures that triggered floods and famine around the world. About 1,500 people were killed when the volcano exploded in Peru, but deaths that were indirectly caused by the eruption are much higher. Two million people, or around 30% of the Russian population, was wiped out during the famine. Mount Vesuvius, Italy. This is probably the best known name on the list and is famous, or infamous, for its eruption in 79 AD. It's viewed as one of Europe's deadliest volcanic eruptions and was witnessed by the Roman poet Pliny the Younger. Vesuvius spewed deadly gas clouds for 21 miles, and molten rock and ash were ejected at about 1.5 million tons per second. It's estimated that the explosion had around 100,000 times the thermal energy of an atomic bomb. Pompeii and Herculaneum were the best known Roman settlements that were destroyed. The remains of more than 1,500 people have been found preserved in ashfall deposits. The cities had a combined population of about 20,000, and death tolls have been estimated at more than 13,000. The stratovolcano has erupted many times since, with the last event happening in 1944, but Vesuvius remains active and is closely monitored by seismic stations. Nevado del Ruiz, Colombia. The Pacific Ring of Fire is an area of the Pacific Ocean that contains some of the most active volcanoes in the world. Nevado del Ruiz is located in Colombia, about 80 miles west of Bogota, and lies within that ring. Experts say that its activity stretches back some two million years. Its most significant eruption in modern times happened in 1985. More than 35 million metric tons of sulfur-rich material was released into the atmosphere. Huge destructive lahars, or mudflows, melted glaciers and rushed down the volcano's sides at speeds of 60 kilometers kilometers an hour. One huge lahar measured some 200 feet wide and killed an estimated 25,000 people in a nearby village. That's regarded as the deadliest mudslide in recorded history. Nevado del Ruiz is still considered to pose a major threat to settlements within its vicinity. Thera, Greece Located in the Aegean Islands, Santorini was once known as Thera. In the 16th century BC, a volcano there exploded with the force of several hundred atomic bombs. Also known as the Minoan eruption, it's regarded as one of the largest volcanic events in world history. Related earthquakes and tsunamis devastated Thera and covered nearby settlements and communities with layers of pumice or powdered volcanic rock. The effects of the catastrophic blast had an impact on world history and may have played a role in the downfall of the Minoan civilization. The exact date of the eruption is debated, and no concise written records of the eruption have survived, so there's no way of knowing how many fatalities occurred. But many experts think this could have been the strongest such explosion that ever occurred. They also cite the Minoan eruption as one of the events that may have inspired the legend of Atlantis. What do you think? Mount Pele, Martinique Located in the Caribbean Sea, Martinique is an island territory of France. In 1902, one of the worst recorded volcanic disasters of the 20th century occurred. Within only a few minutes, some 28,000 people were killed by boiling mudslides and surges of rock and gas fragments ejected by the volcano. The entire city of St. Pierre was engulfed by a deadly cloud of volcanic gases and superheated steam that was nearly 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Moving at an estimated 420 miles an hour, the cloud instantly ignited any Anything that was combustible. People who managed to survive the blast later died from burn-related injuries. The city itself was never completely rebuilt, aside from a few villages that sprang up. The last documented activity from Mount Pele occurred in 1932, and it's been dormant ever since. Krakatoa, Indonesia after months of rumbling and other seismic activity, Krakatoa finally exploded in the summer of 1883. Located in Indonesia, it's one of the most deadly and destructive volcanic events ever documented. More than 70% of the islands, along with this archipelago, were destroyed and swallowed up by a massive caldera. The eruption created a cloud of black ash that reached 27 kilometers high. Enormous explosions could be heard more than 1,900 miles away in Australia. They created tsunamis that were nearly 100 feet high in some areas. Experts say that the eruption itself could have been 310 decibels and was powerful enough to rupture the eardrums of sailors on ships 40 miles away. 
More than 36,000 deaths were documented, although the count is probably higher. While the event had a detrimental impact on the global climate, it did produce a spectacular optical effect that lasted for years afterward. Ash ejected into the atmosphere created vivid red sunsets that were captured in paintings from that period. Did you know that the exact date of the eruption of Mount Vesuvius is up for debate? Make sure to look out for our upcoming video on discoveries made in the last decade. 1. Mount Tambora, Indonesia At one time, this stratovolcano in the Sunda Islands of Indonesia measured more than 14,000 feet. It was reduced by more than 4,700 feet when it exploded in April of 1815. By all accounts, that was the largest volcanic eruption ever recorded by humans. It ranked a 7 on the VEI, or four times as powerful as Krakatoa's eruption in the 19th century. The explosion could be heard from 1,600 miles away, and ash was spread across a distance exceeding 800 miles. More than 71,000 fatalities were linked to this event, and it also had a huge impact on the world's climate. 120 million tons of sulfur were released into the atmosphere, which caused a global drop in temperatures. The effects spread into 1816, which became known as the year without a summer in the northern hemisphere. Mount Tambora is still active and is closely monitored for volcanic activity.